right. Do you want me to pull up Godzilla Kong now? Because it oh, sounds like no. you got some stuff to say about Godzilla Kong more than you do Deadpool. <laughs> Look at this. What do you mean? Look, All right, I'm pulling up. On his hand? You brought this on us. Is that Mecha Godzilla's hand he's got in his on his thing? No, it's, I think it's just a power gauntlet. Hang on. This is Infinity. Is it, the well, Warner we'll Brothers did this or Marvel? We'll have, to, we'll have to occasionally pause this one because I was watching Back of the Ute, the full Ozzy uh, stream this morning, and they got their whole stream taken down uh, while playing this. At least on. So for anybody, in case uh, I am. It, in case YouTube is dumb and retarded, because we know YouTube can be, um, the stream is going over on Rumble. So just in case, there's the link. In case we go down, <laughs> in case we go down while watching this, there is the Rumble link. All right, so here we go with Godzilla Kong: New Empire. Uh, Hitman is far more fascinated with this than he is with Deadpool. Oh. All right, here we go. Yeah, I, that is just the 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 gauntlet. There is just that. It's, oh, it's just like it's just arthritis. So this is some confusion to me because was, because got in Godzilla versus Kong. They went to this world between worlds place or whatever the 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 center of the earth. There were no monkeys, and for as far as we knew, Kong was the only only one still around. He was the only monkey. Is that a mini Dude, Kong? That, you didn't know that? That's Caesar from Planet of the Apes. Because yeah, where did all these monkeys come from? Caesar. Because, because even even um, the Monarch show had no extra monkeys being shown to be there. And don't get me started on that piece of shit show. <laughs> I wish Sheeps was in here because now I'm just getting um, black and white two vibes with these monkeys fighting. Uh, for anybody that played that game, it was a god game and you you would go up against other gods that had avatars that would fight for them and kind of control the people and like the orangutan looking monkey kind of makes me think of that so what i find funny too is that they're trying to be all mysterious with this new with this extra villain and the toys are already out there the toys have already spoiled the look of this character it's nothing good oh, but it always happens it's just funny. It's like you guys can't keep a lid on shit. He's a terrible Godzilla. I I don't like this redesign. Like I like I hmm. that that was they had one good thing going, and that was Godzilla's design. I liked their legendary's design of Godzilla. I liked how with King the Godzilla King of the Monsters, they gave him more of the kind of like extra dorsal plate look and stuff like that. Um, kind of more akin to original kind of you know Japanese Godzilla and everything. But th then they they try they're trying to like slim him up and and now they gave him he's gone Super Saiyan Rose. <laughs> but for God, for fucking Godzilla. The other part I don't I don't get with this pink Godzilla thing too, which is kind of funny because in our old hometown there was a, a sushi restaurant called Pink Godzilla. Um, but why not go with the burning Godzilla look that they had in Godzilla King of the Monsters look? Why not make him all fiery, gnarly, and red and shit like they did with that? And that was even akin to Godzilla from. Godzilla in you know Godzilla versus Destroya when he was melting down and everything that would have been preferable end of Kong yeah see this is where they're showing it locking into place for Kong's gauntlet what happened to his, his axe I, I, I don't know maybe we got destroyed in the uh, box. you can't destroy it well apparently you can um but yeah, that's the shit show. It, and yeah, uh, Timon pointed it out. Or was it Timon? Hang on. Um, 
No, sorry, Red Hoodwinked. Like he said, th- like this whole in the beginning, and it reminded me too uh, with the at the pyramid and the the hand coming out from the from the sand and shit was very uh, like Transformers. Yeah, like this whole bit. Now, <laughs> like I said, the. According to what they established with Skull Island, Kong was the last of the last. They've done nothing but screw with their own lore and basically retcon it every opportunity. And I, I, I know like uh, the director of uh, Minus One has kind of compared what Legendary is doing to the Showa era. But I mean, God, it, the show era was definitely seen as much more loose anyways. It did not seem as tight as a continuity. Like, I think the only one that was meant to be more of a direct sequel was Godzilla Raids again. Then that was it. And then after that, it was kind of off to the races. I know I was kind of uh, watching some reviews and like they're kind of saying that it's, it's supposed to be like, you know, kind of you know direct link to direct link to direct link but you know they they could they quickly forget about the previous movies so i've always just seen each and every one of them as very much a standalone film but with legendary the whole point has been yes we are you know making a direct continuity with each other but monarch so they from king of the monsters to godzilla versus king kong they suddenly introduced this whole like weird you had to go through special portals just to get to the quote unquote center of the earth when in Godzilla versus Kong they were already or not uh, Godzilla King of the Monsters it was just mere tunnels that he was traveling through to get through and then in Monarch with this whole uh, middle uh, uh, center of the earth thing suddenly there's a weird time time dilation shit that goes on where you could stay down in there and it'll just seem like maybe a couple of days to a week or whatever but on the real world in like our our on on the surface uh like it can 10 years 20 years or whatever has pa- can pass by and then you return to it and they're like, oh, no, you, you, oh, my God, yeah, you were gone for two years. Or uh, in Kurt Russell character's case, he was gone for, like, 30 years, 20 years, something like that. Um, but it, it was so inconsistent with itself. And now they're, they're still, <laughs> now they're suddenly brought a bunch of monkeys and <laughs> it back for Kong. Ah. I wanted to like this. I wanted to like it. I did. I wanted, you know, the there to be actually good Godzilla, but now they're just they're making it dumber than the Showa era. I'll always gladly any day of the week watch this freaking old 60s, 70s Godzilla movies, even the one the most probably the most horrible one, Godzilla's Revenge. And that movie's a piece of shit. But Ishiro Honda did what he could with it. He put in a bit of some funny enough, like for the time, uh, the problems going on with with the whole industri- like heavy industrialization of Japan, and then with basically having latchkey kids with the fact that the both the parents were having the work. The kid, the way he was kind of coping with it, the parents were frustrated about it. He did what he could. <laughs> But it's like, I just don't know with these fucking movies. I just don't know. Especially since, like I said, they're trying to keep, they were trying to build something, I thought. But then I've had an issue with the whole thing since King of the Monsters, so. Well, you King, of the, uh, no, King of the Monsters was great. I don't know what you have. But this is classic, D, This is I almost said DC, classic Warner Brothers production this is crap this is flash level freaking like just 
animation, graphics, CGI, whatever it is. Terrible characters, probable story, terrible interpretation of Godzilla. I'm not even a Godzilla fan. You per se, but like he looks like trash. Kong looks like what? a gray beard. These monkeys are around. Well, especially... Caesar, it's like Caesar from Planet of the Apes somehow showed up with all these bunch of monkeys. <laughs> Where is the, the whole premise of Kong versus Godzilla or Godzilla versus Kong was this dorsal fin axe hammer thing with that mysterious yeah. creature. Don't know where it went. Probably not going to understand where it went in a trailer, but still, like, where is it? He's got this infinity gauntlet type thing for his arthritis because he's been punching Kong for, or he's been punching Godzilla for so long, apparently. <laughs> and then it just has, like, a, a whip and chain on it. Yes, so it's and like, this ice breath thing is what destroys the axe. Yeah. Is Godzilla susceptible to cold? But, no. So how did that destroy it? It's the, the, whole axe be... was suppo- the axe was supposed to be from Godzilla's dorsal fin. Yeah, I know. I know. I don't know. So, I don't know. Well, maybe that just like the axe handle or something was destroyed. Who knows? Get um, another one. I, it's wood. And I especially don't like the, the, the redesign. I don't like the redesign of God, uh, their Godzilla. Like The whole freaking pink dorsal plate looks stupid. I can only imagine like how this could have looked at this. Hang on, where was it at the near the beginning here? Like this could have potentially have looked cool if he was more like in the like the the all red and shit instead of like this weird pink color, and then like this the oh, I don't like the redesigns of the spines. His overly now like thin look. It doesn't it didn't work for this. Ah. I'm guessing this is we're gonna for our final fight's gonna take place. I'm guessing down in here is our ice monster. You can barely see it because I think that's our red Kong thing right there. And that, I'm gonna guess this is either gonna be like part of the final battle or something. Because I mean, I don't know. All I know is that I probably won't go see it. Yeah, definitely not. Anybody else, you can have fun. (laughs) Me, on the other hand, no thank you.